State and local leaders are working to combat the mental health crisis in the Magnolia State. 12 News' Tia McKenzie has details on the resources available for those in need. The Mississippi Department of Mental Health recently unveiled a new user-friendly tool to help those who may be struggling with their mental health. The Mental Health Mississippi app includes interactive service maps, educational material, and crisis resources. This app is an ongoing thing that we've been, it's been over a year um, in development, um, just accessing and putting together the resources and design and layout, and, and we continue to adjust it and, and make changes to it as we get feedback and try to make it better and, and meet the needs of the people who are going to be using it. After seeing an increase in suicides at colleges and universities across the state, along with an increase of thoughts of suicide by youth, Senator Nicole Boyd was moved to action to improve overall health outcomes for students. So we have a great deal of programs. That is the good thing about Mississippi. We actually are about 20th, we found out, in services that are offered to people. We don't have enough professionals, but, but the services are there. The goal is to directly address depression, trauma, and other problems. The user-friendly mobile app is one way to do that and gives Mississippians access to mobile crisis teams, 24-7 hotlines, and where to seek counseling. This is a way to reach people who may not be in an area where they have direct access to um, a facility or it's a facility that's farther away and they can't get to it as quickly. Um, they can pull up the app. They can connect either through chat or through 988. Boyd says legislation was recently passed where the suicide hotline number is required on the back of student ID cards across Mississippi. Tia McKenzie, 12 News.